Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to be talking about how to care for coconut palms like this. This guy actually, I started it from a seed. Um, I'm not going to be doing a video about how to grow them from seed yet until I learn a little bit more about this. Because this coconut palm I actually got from a neighbor and it split in half and it just started developing. So we're going to be talking about how to care for them today, um, what type of coconut palms this is. This is actually the real coconut that you guys can actually drink and um, eat a little bit of it. So like the white part or something, you just drink it or use it and stuff. It's a pretty good method. I love coconut palms. Since I moved down to Florida, this is my first coconut palm I have. And I actually drank one from a neighbor and it was actually pretty good. So, all right, let's get into care tips and how to grow it, shall we? All right, so caring for this guy is... Remember guys, this is a tropical plant. They like tropical climates. Um, I have seen them in California along the beach coast, like down in San Diego and all the way up through Los Angeles and Malibu and them and that. So I do see coconut palms a little bit. It's kind of rare to see them in California, but they are all over Florida, guys. So coconut palms are one of the best palms for Florida. Um, they, they can grow in central Florida, just they don't like tons of freezes. Um, they are hardy down to, um, what do you want to call it, uh, what's the temperature again? Oh yeah, the 30, 35 degrees, that's how cold tolerant they are. I'm not making this up, I do, I do do my, do do, I do my research guys, so I do know what type of climate they like in all of this, and plus from experience too, so. Um, coconut palms do well in 35 degree climate, no colder than 35 because if they do, look what happens, burn. This is actually from stress, from trying to break out of this. So, um, should I cut it open? No, because it's already developing, so I'm just gonna let it do its thing. Um, fertilizers, this guy likes fertilizer, um, very often. I, I use, um... What do you want to call it? Worm Castings, Worm Tea um, Company. I use their brand and a few other brands. And I do use this a lot and it's the best um, fertilizer. I just sprinkle it, around, sprinkle it around the edge where the root system would eventually be. Um, which it's developing right now. Very, very hard. A very easy palm. But um, remember, tropical climate palm. Um, sunlight, full to medium sun. I would put this guy in more full sun because they just love the fuller sun and they get bigger and taller in fuller sun. Um, fertilizer once every six months or once every three to six months. I don't take a, typically fertilize my palms, but if I do want to get fruit out of them, then I will fertilize them. Remember, you can, guys cannot fertilize this palm after two years old because Unless if you guys bought one. This is, I started from seed. So just wait a year or two once it gets established and then that's when you guys can fertilize it. Um, climate, um, tropical climates, zones 10A to uh, to 12B, um, like which is South Brazil and all of them because they're 12A to 12B there. Um, what else is there? Pruning, um, whenever there's dead fronds, you guys just prune those off like cut them off but this is a baby one so I just gotta wait for it to actually get true leaves so um remember this is a coconut see the coconut right there that's coconut and um so that's pretty much how you guys care for palms remember sunlight full sun pruning all of the maintenance I just told you guys about so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it was inspiring and I hope it was helpful to grow tropical plants and tropical climates. Um, you guys can grow them in colder climates, but just bring them indoors during winter time. And plus, once it gets like 12 to 50 feet tall, then you guys will want to consider a greenhouse for a while during winter. Um, it is a big process. Um, yeah, so I would not recommend growing this in like Kentucky or any cold climates because it can get difficult at times. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this a big thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe down below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.